What up dudes, my name is Spix with Tricks. Welcome back to Shantae Risky's Revenge. Today we're going to be trying to collect all the things that we missed so far, and I believe I know where they all are. But first of all, we have to go to the Mermaid Bay, or whatever it's called. Like over here. Because we have to get that final baby golden squid. Hey ladies. Don't mind me, I'm just a just an innocent monkey. I'm now one of you. You wouldn't hurt one of your own, would you? Alright. So we're just gonna become a fish. I love this animation right there. The way she swims. It looks so good, dude. All the sprite work in this game is magnificent. So we're gonna go down here past these other fish. They're carn carnivore fish. Then, yeah, we gotta be careful for them. We're gonna go down into the depths, dudes. Look at us. No way. We're, we're treasure divers. I'm gonna flop my way around here. I guess I'll not flop at this point. Alright, we're going to return to elephant. Oh, look at this. Dude, easy money. And there it is. The uh, final golden baby squid. It's funny, the other ones I just kind of found. I just randomly when I was looking around with my new mermaid powers. But now we can use our stomp that we got earlier and get this. The golden baby squid, the final one. And I believe we have to return that baby squid to that one guy. Oops, and he become a fish again. And then we should uh, gain a new power or something. And I guess we could do that now. Um, we do have some other stuff we have to take care of afterwards. Oh god, I think I'm a little lost, dude. A little bit. Oh, we have to go up this way. I think. Oh, this is just a dead end. <laughs> it's like a maze. Look at this. Maybe we could go up here. Hmm? There we go. Back to normal. Yeah, depending on the direction, the sprite changes. This is my favorite right here. She looks so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that nice? She's cool. Right. Oops. So now, we are going to get out of the water. Right here. And we're going to head on out. Cool. Perfect. Nice. There's, <laughs> there's our uh, belly to belly friend. Let's see. Huh. You know what? <clears throat> we should do that. Well, while we're here, I think it's just the best idea. Let's try that. Let's go talk to our squid friends. You. I found all your friends. Hey. You've done it. You found all three of my baboos. I'm fit to burst. Well, genie girl. A deal's a deal. Come on, kiddos. Whoever has the artifact, give it to the nice lady. Nice! Oh my god, it's uncensored. TVMA, dudes. You got mermaid bubble. While swimming as a mermaid, attack to fire bubbles. With that theme, you can fire bubbles in mermaid form. In addition to blasting enemies, you can also destroy the undersea blocks. Risky's lair is east of here, just outside of town in the deepest part of sea. Well, what are you waiting for? Kick her butt, take her down hard. What? Well, 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 I, I, okay. And once you do, snap some close-ups. Whoop! It's time for a showdown. Hold on, Uncle, I'm on my way. Wow, that was very suggestive. Cool. So, now, before we do any of that, though, there's some matter of some magic jars that we still have yet to acquire. So, let's see. Hopefully, you know what's funny? There's two of them at the first um, dungeon that I missed. One of them, um, you can get to way later in the game anyway, though, so it's all right. I don't feel too bad about it. I just gotta get past all these monsters. You know there's an achievement for stomping like a hundred of, uh, of the enemies? It seems difficult. Alright, we're gonna go to Tangle Forest again. And we're gonna make a little pit stop along the way. So, I'm gonna turn in a monkey, Sean today. And then, I believe we have to go in the background really fast. Yeah. I think? Let's see. Um, yeah, because that's where we smashed the gorm. I'm just going to do this. And go. Yeah. Alright. 
because we missed this earlier. Just gonna get past all the, the goopy breathing dudes. Oh, this is hard, isn't it? Okay. So, we actually need Spitfire to do this, right? Um, I get it on my first try. Look at me. <laughs> and then I fall. <laughs> oh, how funny. Nice. And then, let's see. Now, for this one, we want this uh, upgrade. This one seems a little more trickier. You have to get, like, in between. This? Question mark? One more. Perfect. That did not take too long at all. How cool. So then we get on this block and oops. Then oops. And then boom. Magic Jam acquired. Look at us. Nice. We're all decked out on Magic Jams. We got all the upgrades, I think. When it comes to that. The forms, that is. Okay. I don't want to fall. There you go. Nice. There's one of the more annoying magic jams out of the way, in my opinion. It's just a very tight, uh, little window for you to get that. <laughs> I got pretty lucky right there. So now, I'm gonna turn back into Monkey Dance and dash dance a little bit to intimidate my opponent with my impeccable tech. And then we're gonna go this way. Hey, you say monster. And then... We are going to head yet again into the first dungeon. Oh, how many trips I've been back here already. Well, I'll show you where they are. It's a little tricky, dudes. I wonder if anyone knew. But looking back on it now, it seems so obvious. I'm actually surprised that I missed it. There's always a lot going on in this game. Like I said a long time ago, they're very sneaky with their secrets. So the easy to miss one in my opinion. Just gonna take the hit. We do have all these extra heart containers now. <clears throat> Break these really fast so monkey tricks can get through. Wait for the crab monster. Mm -hmm. Go up this way. Yeah, it's right here. Look how sneaky. You know what's funny? I thought I did get this. I thought I did get- it looks familiar to me. Didn't I get that, dudes? I don't know. Regardless, we got it now. I- I mean, I guess I didn't get it, because, you know. But whatever. It's all good. We got it now. There's- it's okay, because we had to come back here way later in the game anyway. Because there's one that we can't get until we have the mermaid upgrade. So we just have to head back this way. Go down here. Stop! We just avoid this guy. He's not that big of a deal. <laughs> he thinks he's such hot shit. Let's put our hearts back right here too. Perfect. And now, all we have to do is go down here and turn into a mermaid. This is as easy as that. Very beginning of the game. Like I said, this game loves backtracking. Begin. <laughs> If you can't tell already. Bam. Oops. Oh no. Nice. And the final magic jam for this place. I finally got it. Look at us. Oh, also, we got that mermaid upgrade. Let's check that out while we're underwater. Can I shoot it above water? Nope. There. Whoa. Dude, I can mega spam. Look at me. Oh my god, it comes out of her testicles. How oh, nice. What a cool power. So now, we can finally say we're fully done with the first dungeon. <laughs> uh, that's cool. We actually do have to go back to the Hypno Baron's room. But um, again, we needed that underwater upgrade that we actually just acquired. So it's not that big of a deal. Hmm. But well, we're starting to get everything. But before that, I think what we'll do is go ahead and head back to the desert area. Hey, say, man. Whoa. Just gotta run past this guy and head to the warp squid. Imagine how cool it would be if warp squid, you could just do it anywhere you wanted. Oh, that would be nice. Let's see. Okay. Maybe it would be a little broken, though. 
Although with the achievements for beating the game in a certain amount of time and um, you know collecting all the items at the same time, just it seems like it'd be very useful. Either way, apparently it's doable. Seems like it's gonna be quite the bitch though. So now we're gonna head back to I suppose the barren desert because we got a little unfinished business there. Hmm. Let's see. So we can't go up there. But I learned you can do this. You can get to like the wall area over here. And do this. <laughs> and just skip all those enemies. Later, bitches. No, I got sniped though. <laughs> it's all good. Hmm. So now, we can go in here. And I think we want to go upwards. Bats are going to be really annoying. Aren't they? Ugh. Yeah, they're very persistent enemies. So now we can actually get back up because we have the monkey bullet. Yeah, these guys just keep following Conte. I think it's best just to try to take care of them as soon as I see them. Yeah, because they don't give up. They don't know what quit is. An admirable thing to have. Alright. Yeah, we can't get up there. We Oops. Eh. I'm up this way. Ah! Stop! <laughs> I got him stuck in the wall. Oh, goodness. Alright. Let's get out of here. Hmm. This is a very sneaky one. Boop. <laughs> Let's wait for him to do his thing. There we go. Look at that, huh? How very tricky. That's cool, we got it. All good. Now we can bullet our way back. And I believe while we're here, should be a couple more things. If not, just one more thing. And I think the best way is just to keep going over here. Probably have to get past some enemies first though. You can actually do a little shortcut here like this. And you don't have to go in the underground uh, caves. Just gotta get past all these. Hmm, I think we're very close to getting all the magic gems though. And this is where it is. Check it out. Wappa. Nice. Okay, this one seems a little tricky. Maybe we'll try this. Um. Duke in. Duke in. Not too bad at all. First try. Yay. How many is that, dudes? I don't get it. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll take the fast way out. <laughs> okay. I think that's all for the desert, I believe. How many do we have? We have five. I think that merits a save at this point. Might as well while we're here. Okay. To the pumpkin fields, huh? I believe we've done everything we can here. Let's just try to get past all these enemies. Apparently those guys are mummies. Those like big golem looking dudes, those are mummies, supposedly. So we've already got the one in the pumpkin fields. I think we're missing one or two more, and I know where one of them is. So I guess we'll head on into that direction. That would be with the Hypno Cliff, the Hypno Baron. So what we need to do is go back to the Mermaid Cliffs. Oh, how fun. Okay. Hmm. This could be a little difficult. Let's see. Oh god, not not the bats. Not the bats and the mermaids and what are these things like little crabs? Little crab things? Crab ominos? Hmm. Eh. That's my attack. <laughs> the mermaid's a little thing. Oh goodness. Please don't do it. Please stop. Hello. Oh god. Oh god, I'm getting murked. Even with monkey form, it's so hard to avoid everything here. This is some gnarly endgame stuff right here, dude. It looks so bright and nice, though, isn't it? Like, you would be like, oh, this is a nice place. Oh my god, I really don't want to die here. I really don't want to get reset after all of that. Oh, that would be the worst. 
I feel like I went the hard way. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Back into our favorite dungeon, dudes. This shouldn't be too hard, though. I believe we want to go downwards. Hmm. Let's try upwards, actually. Yeah. You have to get into the dead dungeon. Yeah. I would love to get a health refill right here. I could. Eh, it's a little one. I'll take it. <sighs> Alright. So, yeah, I've been here for so long, I kind of memorized all the little tricks and everything. Skeleton dudes are really fast. And they hurt. Oh, really? <laughs> He's guarding the door. There's our friends. Nice. Well, we got plenty of health, so sh we should be fine. Hmm. Just gonna get past everything if we can. Oh, you're shooting lightning. Let's go up this way. Try to get past all the druids. I wouldn't call that guy a druid, but that's his name, apparently. Oh, God. Mm hmm. Okay. You know what? Let's just do it. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like there's more slime monsters here than before. Maybe I'm tripping. Where we have to go is back to that room that gave me so much trouble before, if you remember. Because I, I wasn't sure how everything worked at uh, the beginning. We have to go into here. Is it is it just the standard? I think we have to have one eye closed. It looks like it. Look at this. I believe so. Let's see. No? Oh, goodness. Okay. Fair enough. Just run past all these guys. Ah. Oh, what a bother. Huh. <laughs> Both eyes closed? Let's try it. Mm, no. That one back there closed and this eye open. Uh, I think I messed him up here. Unless we have to go this way. Go to. We need to go to the mermaid place. Yeah, this is not it. <laughs> what happened? Do I have to go to the end of that hallway? Oh god, it's gonna be a lot of things to get through. Oh well. Let's just try it. Yeah. Yeah, actually, this looks right. Yeah, this was it. Alright. <laughs> I, was, I was a little not sure for a second. We'll get some of this. <laughs> Alright, salvaged. So now we have to go into either... I, I think it's the cross-eyed room. Like this. It might be the reverse of that, actually. No, this is right. And thank God it saved it. <laughs> We're going back into the place where we got Shantae's mermaid form. So, it's pretty cool. So we're just going to turn into a V. Because now we have this like thing right here. And if you remember, that thing was blocking us before and we can get through. So now, what we have to do is break it and boom. There it is. Another magic jam. And I think that's the final one, question mark? Elephants do not belong in the water, sure. Up. Okay. So now, everything's taken care of in here. And all we have to do is try to get ourselves out of this mess. Maybe I'll do a little speed up for you guys so you don't have to see me struggle my way through here.
Okay. And there we have it. Hypno Baron's Lair finally taken care of. How nice. And the save monster, just just because. So I don't have to go through that. I also pick up some extra gems um, while I was in there because I got some pretty easy ones while I was around. I don't think that's it, dudes. I think there was one more. I believe there was. Just one more. And I think it was kind of early in the game, too. I think it could be... Was it the pumpkin fields? Or the lilac fields? Because remember there was that one? The, it was a chest above us. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely have, I think, just one more to go. So let's see. Hmm. Let's try... I think I went the wrong way here. Yeah, before we go in the item shop, let's try going through the lilac fields. Yeah, because I think that's where maybe. Let me use this more often. So fast. Yeah, screw it. I'll just go. I have the health. It's all good. I saved. Just try to get through, find find that cave. Hmm. There's a warp squid. Maybe it was in here? I think so. I believe so, dude. Perfect! Nice! Oops, did not <laughs> mean to turn into a fish. I think we can do that. Nice! Blava! If I'm correct, and I think I am, that means we got all the magic jams in the game. I think so. I guess we'll see once we try to go buy all the upgrades. Alright. Well, cool. Let's try to get out of here, dudes. Try not to get murked by these enemies on the way. <laughs> yeah, the monkey form is just so good for, like, avoiding all the enemies. And you feel faster. I don't think you're very faster. I think it's actually faster to backdash. But we all love Monkey Sean today. Look at her. She's adorable. Okay. So now... We have, I think, all the magic gems. Let's see if we can get all the upgrades. Hello. I might not have enough money. Alright, Silky Cream, got it. Alright, so let's get the upgraded Storm Poop. And the Mega Puff. And Attract Magic, I'm four <laughs> gems off, my friends. But that's actually perfectly alright, because we can get that really easy. <laughs> nice! Dude, we did it. We 100%ed Shantae. We actually did it. Look at us. Cleaned up and got all the magic things at the very end. Must be so hard to get all this in like a row. Oh, look how fast. Look at the weave. Oh my god, we should have got this a long time ago, huh? Just gotta get 100. I can really spam. My god. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Well, let's go in here and get that attract magic so we can actually see if it has any any kind of use. Because typically if I see something, I just grab it. Do it all take it. Get the touch, got the power. That means that we got 100%. And we did it. Hell yes, we got everything in the game. Look at us. Let's check it out. The storm poof number two. Oh, it's like a bomb. Interesting. How about this? What about you? Hmm? Oh, much larger bomb. Oh, how fun. Well, cool, dudes. I think that merits a save. What do you think? How cool. We have three gems. <laughs> I'm so happy. Well, before we wrap everything up, I believe that I'm gonna do a series of very, very long speed ups <laughs> because there's a few achievements that involve getting 100 kills with the Storm Puff alone, which is gonna take, I think, forever. <laughs> and I think the best place to do this is the Pumpkin Fields. There's also an achievement for getting kills in Shantae's um, 
health in the form of stomp. So I guess I'm just gonna have to do this for a while. So I guess I'll see you guys in a bit. There it is, Romper Stomper. About a hundred kills. The hitbox is pretty generous with this thing. So that's pretty cool. The next one we need to get while we're here is having this active for two minutes straight. And I saw that these ladies drop magic vials. And I don't think it's that difficult as long as we can get lucky here. Get a couple magic drops. We should be fine. Uh, we can't stop it to drink a potion, unfortunately, because that would cancel the pike ball. So hopefully I just get lucky. Uh, I guess we'll see in a sec. There it is, Pike Ball Power. I got really lucky with my magic drops, all right. Now one that I'm a little worried about. It's this thing, not really sure how this is gonna work. Let's see. Yeah, I think it'd be better just to use this. We have to get 50 kills with this thing, I believe. So I guess we'll see when I, if I get lucky enough to get this. There it is, move over Zeus. Okay, that was not too bad at all. It took me a minute, but it's all good. Just a little bit of farming. This is a great spot to farm, by the way. And I believe with that, that's about all the achievements that I'm able to get at this point. Nice. Well, we did it, dudes. And we got like 200 gems for doing all that crazy stuff. Well, how cool. So I guess all that's left to do now is take care of that dastardly risky boots. We might as well go ahead and drink our potions. Oops. Like this. Just get all stocked up because we have gems now that are completely unnecessary. And we might as well just max out all of our potions that we can. So, we're gonna get one of these, two of these. And that's nine and nine with all upgrades, all heart containers, all magic jams, all the achievements I can get at this point. I did miss one before, but that's easily gotten in another one. Anyway, that would about do it for today's video, dudes. And I think tomorrow might be the final episode of Shantae. No, in the story plot. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Either way, thanks for watching, dudes. I hope you have a good one. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oops. I forgot about one more achievement that we had to get. I'm just going to power my way straight to the area where I know there's a jack and said, and I'll be right back. Yep, we're back at the Tangle Forest yet again, and I thought I was done with it. Done. Fire breath. That's all it takes. <laughs> okay. Well, good.
my gosh, something smells like a wet animal. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie, artichokies. That would do it. For real this time. And I'll see you on the finale. Peace, dudes.